Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to make a video on what I actually used in my baby's hospital bag for when I had baby Dian. Um, I have already filmed a video on what I actually used in my hospital bag and I'll leave that linked up here so you can give that a watch if you haven't already. But um, in this video I'm going to watch the video that I created of me packing his bag and then I'll let you know of those items what I used. I'll also put the video up here as well so that you can watch it with me. I'm a first time mum so I did pack more than what I think I needed um, for some things and not enough for other things. So this video might be helpful for you guys. If you're first time mums especially, I remember watching a lot of these videos myself. So we're gonna get started. This bag I purchased off Amazon um, and I got it for about £32.99 and it comes with a dummy holder and it also comes with um, a changing mat. Um, I just want to comment on the bag. The bag is really, really good. It's got so many different compartments in. You can fit so much in. We've actually taken it away with us for um, almost a week away and all of the Anne's things have fit into it. So it's really, really good. Um, it does get really heavy though. And if you are putting it on the back of your, your pram, just know that your pram may flip um, the other way because it's heavier than the baby. So just be careful about that, but um, like I said, it's really good at fitting everything in, it's just a bit heavy. So let's get into this bag and have a look to see what I've packed for baby. The zip right at the very front, um, I've not put anything in that zip, but I have in this one here, so let's open this one up. So in here are probably my stuff, to be honest. I've got a little pocket here, and I've put 10 breast pads in here. Um, my milk didn't actually come in until three days after giving birth, so I'd already left the hospital at this point, so I didn't actually use any of the breast pads whilst in hospital, and then when I came home I used my reusable ones anyway, so I still had a lot of these breast pads left over that I just didn't use. Um, so that's what's in there. I've got a power bank in here as well, so I've got my Bluetooth speaker, I can charge this with the power bank too. So I didn't use either of those, I didn't use the um, power bank or the speaker, they actually had the radio and they were playing Magic AM which I actually really like so I just listened to the radio um, and then of course if I wanted to change the radio channels I could do it on there, I listened to Heart and Hallam as well and then of course if I wanted to I could have used it. Music was just sort of in the back of my mind, it wasn't really at the forefront which I wish um, I'd paid more attention to because I think it, it could have really influenced my labour differently. Um, but yeah, at the time I just wasn't thinking about it. So I didn't bother to use either of those. I've got a rechargeable um, a fan, so I can use the power bank to charge this too. That is a really good fan and I will definitely recommend it to anybody. I didn't actually use it when in the hospital, but that's fine. It will be, will be a great fan for holidays. It will be a great fan for when we go to Bangladesh and just in the summer in this country as well. Um, and uh, I can't recommend this fan enough, to be honest. Um, I've got some nipple cream and I bought the Lancino nipple cream. This is the one that everybody on YouTube recommends. So this is the one that I've purchased. Unfortunately, um, the Anne didn't take to breastfeeding, so I didn't actually end up breastfeeding. It was an item that I'm glad I packed, but didn't need in the end. Um, I forgot to mention this in my last video though as well. Anything that I didn't use from either my hospital bag or my baby's hospital bag, I did actually end up giving away to other people. And then in this pocket I have the chargers. This is an anchor charger that I got from Amazon and it's really long. And this is the little charger that I've got. This will charge quite a few things. The iPhone um, socket will be fine for this as well. So I did actually exchange um, that cable for a longer cable and like I said I didn't even use any of that so um, really I, it wouldn't have mattered had I taken the smaller one. That is just what I took. Also in here I've packed some paracetamol. I'm also going to look at packing some over-the-counter cocoa de mole because that's what my midwife recommended so um, once I've got some of that I can put that in here as well. And then finally in this pocket I have some tissue, just in case I need some tissue. 
Um, I did pack the over-the-counter Coco de Mall, um, and I took some actually when I went into labour. Um, but then these paracetamols, I didn't use the paracetamols eat at all, um, and I didn't take any more than the one dose of Coco de Mall, just because I didn't find that it did anything for me. Um, the tissues, I never use tissues anyway, um, so I didn't use those tissues either, but I know some people do use tissues all the time and they have them with them all the time. I have made sure that all my electronics are fully charged as well, so please remember to do that too. There's also a little pocket up here too, but I've not put anything in there. There's a little dummy holder thing here. Um, I've not put anything in, I might just put some change in here. Um, I don't plan to give baby dummy. Um, so I'm not taking one with me. The end doesn't have dummies, um, he doesn't take to them, he's become quite a thumb sucker though, um, and that's not something that you'd pack. <laughs> um, but I think that's a really good pocket if you do have like airpods or anything like that, that's a really good place to put them. On the outside while we're here, um, on this side there's a pocket here for a bottle, I've just put some masks. On the other side, there's another pocket exactly the same. This has got like a zipper here, so you can use it for wipes. Um, I've put hand gel in here. I've also put in some um, antiseptic wipes. Um, so those two pockets are still exactly the same as they were then. I still have masks in that other pocket and I still have the antiseptic wipes and the hand gel in this pocket. I didn't use um, the masks when I was in hospital, um, you, didn't, you didn't have to put them on, um, so I didn't use them, but you know, I've used them since being at the hospital, um, and same with the wipes, I didn't use them whilst at hospital, but I have used them since, they're great for cleaning down surfaces, especially when you're going out to like restaurants or cafes or anything like that, and they've got a baby changing, um, baby changing room, and you want to just wipe down the surfaces before you put your mat down, um, and then the hand sanitizer has come in handy as well. Well, we'll go into this one first, the one in front. So we've got a pocket here, which I've not put anything into. We've got a pocket here as well. So again, I've got some more um, bags. We've got a pocket on this side. In here at the top, we've got baby's first outfit in newborn. So in here, I've packed a couple of uh, nappies um, in newborn size. I've packed a bodysuit and a sleep suit. And I've also packed a... Um, a hat. I've done the same thing for zero to three months. So we did actually use the newborn one, um, the newborn outfit, so it's really good that I did pack them as outfits, so um, the bodysuit, sleep suit, nappy, hat, everything was all in one, otherwise he would have to look through the bag, find all the sleep suits, pull a sleep suit out, find all the bodysuits, pull a bodysuit out, find all the nappies, pull a nappy out, and um, it just made it so much easier when everything was rushed. Um, after baby was born we needed to get him dressed quickly. The zero to three months one we didn't use, the newborn was actually too big for Diane. He was only six, uh, six pounds and one ounce, so he was a very small baby. Probably needed tiny baby, but um, newborn was all I had. I hadn't, I hadn't thought he'd need tiny baby, so I went with newborn or zero to three months. So I obviously thought he was a bit bigger than what he actually was. Um, so that's what's in here. And then we've got the main bag up here, so let's go into this. I have a cellular blanket, this is just in plain white, um, so I thought this would be really good if I wanted to cover him over if he gets a little bit cold. That's the one I've gone with. I actually only use that cellular blanket on the way home. In the hospital they give you so many things to cover your baby over with. I think they gave me a blanket, they gave me two towels to cover him with, and they um, they wrapped him all up and everything for me so I didn't have to bother. So I did use that on the way home because of course I'm not going to take the hospital's things home with me. Um, I've also got a large muslin blanket so that I can possibly swaddle him in this um, and see if he likes to be swaddled. If I remember right, um, I haven't used that. I've never needed to use it. I think it is a really, really good muslin blanket. It's just Dion didn't take to swaddling either. And I think it will come more in handy during the summer months where it's a little bit warmer. Um, it's been really, really cold since he's been born. So I've had to use fluffier, thicker blankets on him. 
And then in terms of clothing, this is newborn bodysuits, so three extra ones, so it's got four all together. We've got the same thing but zero to three months. I've then got some sleep suits for him for newborn size. I've got the zero to three month sleep suits as well. Also in here I have a hoodie, socks, mitts and bibs. So the newborn bodysuits and sleep suits I did use, I didn't bother to use the zero to three month ones, like I mentioned before, they were too big for him. Um, I did use all the newborn ones and um, to be honest, I got to a point where I thought I'm going to need to ask my husband to bring some more outfits um, because they were all dirty and I, I was on my last pair uh, when I was told that I was going to go home. So I was very fortunate not to have needed that fifth outfit. I stayed in hospital for uh, two days and I ended up using four outfits. So if you want to pack a fifth one just in case, I think it may come in handy. Um, but again, like I said, your partner could probably bring it over to you. I did use the extra mitts because some of the outfits didn't have mitts, so I did use those mitts. I didn't bother with the hoodie, the hoodie was huge on him anyway. I didn't use any of the socks at the time, or the bibs, and the hats I'd already packed in his uh, firstborn outfits. Um, so I didn't pack any extra hats because I'd already had two in those. But they give you some hospital hats anyway, so yeah, I didn't have to use any of my own hats. And then finally at the bottom here I've got some muslin um, cloths, so I've just packed four muslin cloths in here because I think I might need them all. I did use pretty much all of those muslin cloths, um, they were really good to lay down and then lay baby on but also they were great for feeding um, so I could put them under here so that he didn't dribble onto them and I still do use those now um, and I actually do use his bibs now as well. Also in here I have some water wipes, some cotton balls. So we just stuck with cotton wool and water. They provide you cotton wool at the hospital, but when I was moved into my own room, um, the cotton wool wasn't as available as it was when I was on the ward. So I ended up using my pack anyway. Um, but yeah, we used cotton wool and water for the whole time and we used it for quite a long time after baby as well. We used it weeks after. Um, I remember at one point, I think he was about two weeks old, we did use a just a one wipe. He did end up with a rash actually. So I don't know if it's because they're just too wet and then of course you're then sealing that moist environment into the nappy. So we just didn't use them for weeks and weeks. I've also got um, a pack of 24 nappies, so that's what I'm taking. Those nappies were enough, um, I didn't get through the full pack. I was worried at one point that I may end up getting through that whole pack. Babies, when they're newborn, they poo so much, it's crazy. He pooed every time he fed, and he fed pretty much every three hours, so I needed to change him every three hours. Um, and he was just constantly weeing, weeing everywhere. So yeah, so it was quite a challenge to try and stick with the 24 nappies, but I managed to do it. <laughs> I've also got some nappy sacks that I'm taking with me, and these are fragranced as well, so that's really nice. So I'm taking those. I haven't used those, I don't even use them now. Um, I think they're good to have just in case because some nappies are very very smelly um, and I have bagged up um, a few nappies in the past but I just haven't used these actual nappy bags, I've just used food bags. And then I have a few ointments. So I've got the Sudocreme Care and Protect, got the little pot of Sudocreme and then also the Panthen. I got them as free samples. Um, I haven't really had the chance to use the Bepanthen. Um, Leanne just doesn't really get nappy rash. Um, I did use the Sudocreme when he had that rash from when using the water wipes. Um, but other than that, I've not really needed to use either of Sudocreme or Bepanthen. Um, so yeah, so I don't really have any comments to make on those really, I can't say which one I prefer um, and, but I think it's good to have them just in case. I've also got metanium, so his, his rash was quite bad and somebody did recommend metanium so I did use that. I hate metanium, don't recommend it. Stick with Sudogram or uh, maybe Vibe Panthen as well. 
Um, and then finally, this bag did come with a um, changing mat. So I'm taking this changing mat with me as well. There's nothing else in here. So that's everything I'm taking for baby. So that's everything I packed. Like I mentioned in the video, I clearly didn't know how big the animal was going to be and I didn't need all them outfits. I could have just stuck with the newborn. But as you can see, I did use quite a lot of things from my baby's hospital bag as well. So it's very important that you make sure you've packed as much as you can. Um, a lot of that stuff was important and had I breastfed, I probably would have used a lot more in that bag as well. But anyways, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. I hope it's given you some ideas in what you should be taking with you to the hospital. Um, if you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe if you haven't already. Ask any questions down below as well. I'll try my best to get back to them. I do have some more baby videos in mind, so please keep an eye out for those. Um, until then, I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.